Hey guys, what's up? Before I start this video, I want to give a big shout out to iOS Kid. Um, he was a writer for our Jailbreak Nation back a little while ago, and he's coming back. Now I want to give him a shout out. And you can visit his channel, youtube.com slash iOS Kid. He doesn't really have any uploads now, but I'm sure they'll be quality as his posts, as high quality as his posts were. So if you could take just a second to click my iPod right here, hit subscribe, and come back to this video, that'd be um, awesome. And now I'll continue on. So, um, Apple announced, uh, the notification center with iOS 5. Now, um, the, uh, iOS 5 was jailbroken just a few days ago. And since then, so many people have been, um, making notification center widgets that I decided to make a top notification center widget video. And we have a post on our site. Now, first off, I want to say that, um, not all of these are out yet. A lot of them are just pictures and that were made and demoed but not fully out but will be in the next few days so most likely when you see this video they'll already be out anyways um the first two i want to show that i actually have are pretty cool i know i've shown one of them off in a previous video but it uh, has since improved so as we slide down notifications i notice you'll have to be on ios 5 betas and you have to be a developer for that so most people don't have that and um hopefully you'll be able to have all this fun as soon as it comes out in the fall. Now, the first one is UI settings. What this allows you to do is have all these, um, like, shortcuts and changes. Like, you can change your brightness up and down with all these buttons. Conveniently placed notification center, which is a really nice widget that I like. Now, you can also do stuff like respring, and since the beta, or since the previous beta, I'm pretty sure it's still in beta. Um, now, all you have to do is tap on it. You don't have to, like, tap and hold up. And secondly, airplane mode works now, or at least has an icon. It doesn't look really bad. That's another plus, and also all these reboot, power off, and etc. work, which is very nice. Now, the second thing I want to show you is Wii Twitter. So, it's, it's W-E-E -E Twitter. So, what this widget do does, basically, is like a frame of Twitter. Now this is basically just a frame of um, twitter.com, the mobile version, but once you log in on Safari, it will show this. So you can go to the link in the description um, to find out instructions on how to get all these and what their names are for the ones that are coming out soon in the description as I'll be going over some pictures that we have on our site after this. So it's very simple. You have your Twitter stream, your at replies, messages, and you can search Twitter. So that's um, really convenient to use. You just swipe down, check Twitter really quickly, and go back. Now, the other ones I want to show off are actually just um, pictures. I don't actually have them on our device. Um, the third one is Music Center. As you can see, here's a picture of it. Basically adds a little widget that shows um, some information on the music that's playing on your device. The next one is System Prefs, which basically uh, gives you a bunch of information on your device. You've seen apps like this before, but integrated into a simple widget would be very nice. And third is Widget Task. Basically, this puts the, the when you double tap, this um, uh, multitasking into your notification center. So that's also a really great tweak. So. Uh, here are a showcase of five um, notification center widgets, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to thumbs up and all, and I'll come at you guys later when more um, interesting widgets come out. So I'll see you guys later, and also don't forget to subscribe.